Hey everybody and welcome to Grace Lutheran Church's Worship. My name is Kelsey and I'm the director of Chris Ed and I'm excited that you've come to join us for our worship and for my children's sermon. Our readings today talk about the Holy Spirit and how the Holy Spirit will come to help us know things and the Holy Spirit is an interceder um, or kind of like the middle, right, to help us get our words to God and to Jesus. Um, and so I heard this story the other day and I want to tell it to you because I think it makes perfect sense. Um, there was a pastor at a church and he was doing the whole sermon and this family had sat in the back pew and there was this little boy who just kept praying the whole service and the only thing he would pray was the alphabet. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, so on and so forth, right? He'd go through the whole alphabet and he'd do it again and again until the service was over. And the pastor was very curious. So he went up to the little boy after service was over and he said, hey, thank you for coming to worship, but I'm curious, why are you praying the ABCs? And this little boy said, well, I don't know how to put words together and to talk to God, but I do know that if I put all the letters up there, the Holy Spirit will mix them into what I mean to say, and they'll send it to God. How cool is that? That's, that's the gist, right, of the Holy Spirit interceding or being the middleman for us. That's, that's this cool idea that, you know, we may not know what to say, um, we may not know how to articulate it, or um, we may not even know how we feel, right? But when we sit down and we let the Holy Spirit in, um, oh, the Holy Spirit knows all that and brings it to God. That's just the cool thing, right? We don't even have to say anything. Maybe sometimes you don't even have to say anything to your parents and they know that you're tired or upset, right? And they just kind of hold you. That's exactly what the Holy Spirit is like. They know what you're feeling. Holy Spirit knows what you're feeling, what you're saying, what you're thinking, how you're going to articulate it. And the Holy Spirit will say it for you to God. It's so cool. So this week, um, as we learn about the Holy Spirit and how it intercedes, right, or is the middleman, um, middleman in all of this, I want you to think about some things this week that you may want the Holy Spirit to help you with, right? To intercede or to be the middleman for. Maybe it's um, learning how to pray a little better, right? Maybe this week you just sit down with your parents and you guys pray the alphabet because you know that those letters are going to get jumbled up and the Holy Spirit's going to mix them up and send them to God the way they should be, right? Maybe it's... Um, right talking about the holy spirit interceding for us maybe it's having trouble finding um ways to help a friend who maybe is bullied or having a hard time right maybe it's just sitting with the holy spirit and saying can you please intercede or be the middleman for me and god to help me find ways to help my friend right um there are so many ways that we can ask the holy spirit to be there for us to help us and this week i challenge you to find those ways um right even if it's just holy spirit please help me get through the next 20 days of school or 10 days of school or whatever it is right think about how you want the holy spirit to be with you this week and not just with you but help you and guide you and support you because the holy spirit is a part of God and God is going to be there and know how to help you. All you have to do is ask.